Hi everyone. Today, we are gonna talk about aromatherapy and essential oils. What is aromatherapy? What is it used for? How to use it? Some of the most popular aromatherapy oils, and their benefits. And the side effects of essential oils. What is aromatherapy? Aromatherapy, is the practice of using the essential oils, extracted from plants to enhance psychological and physical well-being. Aromatherapy, has been used for centuries, for improving a person's health or mood. According to the studies, some essential oils have antimicrobial, antiviral, nematicidal, antifungal, insecticidal, and antioxidant properties. What is aromatherapy used for? Aromatherapy has an array of benefits like, reduce stress, anxiety, and depression, boost feelings of relaxation, manage pain, treat headaches and migraines, improve digestion, improve sleep quality, fight bacteria, virus, and fungus, soothe certain types of pain, including pain from kidney stones, and sore joints like osteoarthritis of the knee, ease some of the side effects of cancer treatment like nausea and pain. Help improve quality of life for people with long-term health problems, like dementia. Ease discomforts of labor, like muscular aches. Boost immunity. How to use aromatherapy. Topical applications. Massage oils, and bath and skin care products, are absorbed through the skin. Massaging the area where the oil is to be applied, can boost circulation and increase absorption. Essential oils are never applied directly to the skin. They must always be diluted with a carrier oil like coconut oil, sweet almond oil, or olive oil. Internal use, among many benefits, essential oils can be used internally to support gastrointestinal health, maintain healthy immune function, promote healthy cell function, provide the body with internal cleansing benefits and they also be used to add flavor to food and beverages. Internal use of aromatherapic oils can cause serious illnesses. Consult your doctor and a trained aromatherapist about the possible risks and benefits. Inhalation. The oils evaporate into the air using a diffuser container, spray, or oil droplets, or breathed in. For example, in a steam bath. When inhaled, the scent molecules in the natural oils goes to the brain and especially impact the limbic system. The emotional center of the brain, which may respond to the oil by creating brain chemicals like serotonin. Besides providing a pleasant smell, aromatherapy oils can provide respiratory disinfection, decongestant, and psychological benefits. Some of the most popular aromatherapy oils, and their benefits. Lavender oil. It's often used to help relieve stress, and anxiety, and promote good sleep. Essential oil is used as an antiseptic for minor cuts, burns, and to enhance relaxation, and sleep. It is said to relieve headache and migraine symptoms. Tea tree, melaleuca, oil. Used to fight infections and boost immunity. It's typically used as an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and antiviral treatment in addition to treating hypersensitivity. Thanks to these benefits, it's been shown to help treat acne, eczema, reduce reactions in people allergic to nickel, and even treat staph infections, and bug bites. Jasmine oil, used to help with depression, anxiety, menstrual cramps, menopausal symptoms, boosts concentration, improves immunity and fights infections, and also improves sleep pattern. Eucalyptus oil can help relieve the airways during a cold or flu. It is used to treat bronchitis, sinusitis, asthma, wound healing, pain relief, and oral health. It also keeps the bugs away. Frankincense oil has all kinds of astringent, digestive, antiseptic, and disinfectant properties. It is used to alleviate stress and relieve pain. Treat dry skin and reduce the appearance of wrinkles, age spots, scars, and stretch marks. Sandalwood oil, used to calm nerves, help with focus, increase alertness, manage anxiety, support wound healing, guard against skin cancer, fight bacteria. Black seed oil, it is high in antioxidants, 
and provide strong antipathogenic and antifungal properties. It reduces inflammation and protect against conditions like heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and cancer. Also it helps treating asthma, reduce body mass index, lower blood sugar levels. Lemon oil improves mood, helps relieve the symptoms of stress and depression. This citrusy oil is loaded with antioxidants that can help reduce inflammation, fight against anemia, boost energy levels, and relieve nausea. It's also often used in homemade cleaning products. Rosemary oil promotes hair growth, boost memory, prevent muscle spasms, relieve pain, stimulates hair growth, reduce joint inflammation, and support the circulatory and nervous systems. It also repels bugs. Calendula oil soothes skin symptoms of eczema, dermatitis, and dandruff by promoting the production of collagen. Calendula aids in sustaining soothed, hydrated skin, slows development of wrinkles, reducing scarring, heals wounds, assists with digestive and immune system, soothes internal wounds and burns like ulcers, heartburn or irritable bowel syndrome. Black pepper oil is commonly used for stimulating the circulation, muscular aches and pains, and bruises, combined with ginger essential oil. It is used to reduce arthritis pain and improve flexibility. Chamomile oil can treat eczema, alleviates stress and anxiety, improves the appearance of skin, relieves allergy symptoms, improves digestion, reduces inflammation, treat insomnia, improves heart health, detoxifies the body, relieving the pain associated with headaches. Side effects of using essential oils Users should be aware that natural products are also chemicals, and they can be hazardous if used in the wrong way. It is important to follow the advice of a trained professional when using essential oils. Wrong use of essential oils can cause rashes, asthma attacks, headaches, allergic reactions, skin irritation, nausea, sun sensitivity. Use essential oils with caution if you have hay fever, asthma, epilepsy high blood pressure, eczema, psoriasis. There is not enough research about how essential oils might affect children, and pregnant women, or breastfeeding, as well as how the oils might interact with medications and other treatments. If you're considering aromatherapy, consult your doctor and a trained aromatherapist about the possible risks and benefits. Aromatherapy is a complementary therapy. It's not meant to replace any doctor-approved treatment plan. Wish you all a healthier life. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.